is a lesson on congruency. This word congruency means two things that are exactly the same. So in this lesson, we are talking about shapes. We are uh, specifically talking about triangles. So when we say two triangles are congruent, we mean those two triangles are exactly the same. If you cut one and put on top of the other, it will fit exactly. So congruency for triangles has four conditions. I'm going to look at those four conditions and then after we look at an example of how you apply it. First condition is side, side, side. When you get side, 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 when you look at a triangle, a triangle is made up of three sides. So here, when you talk about congruent, you talk about more than one shape. So I have two triangles here. And then if the condition is side, 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 they're telling you that the sides are equal. In maths, when we're showing the sides that are equal, we draw this small and analyze. When you look at this side, it's one line. It means this side is equal to that side. This side in this triangle is equal to that side in this triangle. This side in this triangle to that side. Here, the three is equal to that side. So in this triangle, one side is equal to another side in the other triangle. So these two triangles are congruent. And the reason will be side, side, side. But the next condition is side included angle side. When you look at these two triangles, this side is equal to that one. This angle, this side is equal to that side and then you have an angle that's equal they've shown me with that but it's not any angle it's side included angle side so the angle that is equal it must be the angle that is between the two sides so that if it's if it's that angle then it's not congruent it must be the angle between the two sides it's side included side included angle side it must have the side equal the angle between the two sides must also be equal not any other angle Let's look at the third condition. The next one is angle, angle, side. So you have must have two angles that are equal. That, that angle equals to that angle. That angle equals to that angle. And a corresponding side. You need to look where the side is. When you, you see here in this triangle, the angles are here and the side is, is the one that is between the angles. It must be the same position here. The angles here, the side is there. You can't have it... In this angle, in this triangle, then you say this this side is not the same side. It must be the common side in both triangles. So if it's like this, is not correct. It's supposed to be that side. Let's look at the last one. This is the fourth uh, condition. The R is for a right angle. The H is for hypotenuse. And the S is the common side. Right angle hypotenuse, you can only get that if you have a right angle triangle. So when you look at these two triangles that I'm having, they have a 90 degrees. This square angle thingy, it's telling us the angle is 90 degrees. So this angle, this triangle is a right angle triangle. This, it has a right angle. That one, it has a right angle. When you look at hypotenuse, a hypotenuse is the line that is opposite the right angle. So the hypotenuse also must be equal. If in this, that was equal, not the hypotenuse, these two triangles would not be congruent. So the hypotenuse should be the line that is equal. The hypotenuse is equal and one of the other sides should be equal. So the other side is equal here. So the, the reason is right angle, here's my right angle, my hypotenuse is equal and one side is equal. So it's right angle hypotenuse side. Let's look at an example how we apply this in a, in a question. Right, um, if you are given a question like this, and then you are given two triangles. You have triangle A, B, C, this triangle here, and you have E, B, D, this triangle this side. We are asked to prove that triangle A, B, C. These three equal signs like this, it's congruent. That's how we write it, congruent. Con equal is two, congruent, you write three lines like that is congruent to triangle E, B, D. If you are asked to do that, you, 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 you write it in the following way. You write in triangle A, B, C, and you don't write the congruent thing. You write and triangle E, B, 
D. Then you look at your shape. In this side, you write things that you find in triangle ABC. On this side, you write things that you find in E, B, D. Okay. When you look at this, A, B, the line A, B, is equals to the line E, B in the other triangle. How do we know? These lines that they've given to us, they've drawn them like that. They told us that these two lines are, are equal. When you write a line, you use two symbols. A, B is equals to E, B. In geometry, you always give a reason. Why are you saying that? Our reason, it's given. Why are we saying it's given? Because the question paper came with that telling us you don't write given everywhere when we are not given. We are given this. They told us that these two lines are equal. We were told. That's why we write given. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Okay. When you look at this triangle, you have C, B. And then in this triangle, you have D, B. They are also given. They told us. They showed us with this one line. In this triangle, it's C, B is equals to D, B. What is the reason? Our reason is given again because we are told. Okay? Now, when you look at all the con conditions for congruent, we need three things. In this question, we only have two, so we can't say it's congruent. We have to look for the third one. Okay? When you look at this angle here in this triangle is equal to that angle there in the other triangle. Why? They are vertically opposite. Okay, now when you name an angle, you can use three um, uh, alphabets or one. In this case, we can't use one because that angle has a B, 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 B. So we have to use three. For this angle, triangle, it's A, B, C. A, B, C is this angle. An angle is a space between two lines. It is a space between A, B and B, C. So for the, the, the triangle A, B, C, we are having angle A, B, C. We write this copy. Is equals to, in the other triangle, is E, B, D. E, B, D. Remember, I said in Euclidean geometry, you always write reasons. So my reasons is that the angles are vertically opposite. You don't have to write in full. So I have the three things that I need to choose one of the conditions of congruence. What do I have? I have a side and I have another side and the, I have the angle. Now let's check if the angle is included. The side included angle side. So here I can say therefore triangle A, B, C is congruent those three lines to triangle E, B, D. What's my reason? The condition was that the, was the side included angle side. You need to write that as well. You get a mark. Um, I hope you practice, practice, practice this uh, because you will be using it up to grade 12. You have questions where you have to use congruence. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson. Oh,